So what I'm going to show you here is how to pre-translate a file using the open document or translate single document approach in Studio 2014 and pre-translate with machine translation. So I'm going to translate a single document. So I click on this, select the file that I want to translate. My languages are automatically selected based on whatever language pair I set up in my settings. So in this case I'm going English to Hungarian. I'm not going to bother with the translation memory, so I'm just going to open the file. So this opens the file for me now. So it's now ready for translation. So the first thing I'm going to do now is add my machine translation. Or my machine translation engine. So I click on the project settings up here. I add. I'm going to use Big Global Community. So I accept my warning, telling me I'm going to be using a, a, a provider. And what happens when I do? This adds it. I can't do concordance, I can't update it, it's just a machine translation engine. Then I'm going to go in the batch processing and under the pre-translate files I have an option down here. So first of all this option says when no match found do one of these things. I want to apply the automated translation. So what this means is if you don't find anything in your translation memory put a machine translation match in instead. And the the factor that determines whether or not it adds anything from, the machine, uh, from your translation memory is the minimum match value here. So if I had a translation memory, I might say, I might decide that everything above 90% is good and anything below it is useless out of it when it's below 90%. So I might change that to 90. And what this would mean is that anything above 90% would come from my translation memory and anything lower than 90% or anything not found will be using MT. In this case I didn't add a translation memory so I could have left it at 100, it really wouldn't have made any difference. Then I click on OK. So that's my settings in place. Now what I don't need to do now is run the pre-translate batch task. 2014, there's a little icon up here, so I can click on that. Now notice the first thing that happens is it's now asking me to save the file. And this is because I've only opened the file for translation, it isn't a project yet but it still needs to be a project in order to run the batch tasks. It's just a single file project, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But I click Save, and that's now created the single file project. It's now, Studio knows where it is. And then I just click on Pre-Translate Files to run the Pre-Translate Batch task. I already made the settings, so I don't need to go through any further options, but I could click Next and go through them if I wanted to. But because I already made them and told it to use the, the machine translation, I can just click Finish. So that will go through now, run the pre-translation of the files. It'll take a little while because it's going and connecting the engine over the internet. That's finished. I click Close. I'm asked if I want to open my file again. I say yes. File opens up and there's my translation, English to Hungarian. It's probably not very good. Well, it might be good. I've really got no idea you'd know better than me but that's it the file is now pre-translated now if I close that file you can see now the file is still here in the files view that's because there is a project created and if I click on projects when I scroll down to the bottom here you can see that I have this single file project so as opposed to a standard studio project I have a single file project because I just opened the file and here it just takes on the name of the file so you can see it gets a bit messy whereas I'm a little anal about these things and I like to have mine nice and orderly so I can find things more easily and so I number all my projects um, but with a single file project you don't have that option and that's it pretty straightforward